I think if you ask any journalist whether they always wanted to be an editor, the answer would be no. Um, and that's because, you know, as a journalist, that's all you want to do. You want to continue writing stories. You want to be in the field. Um, my journey was obviously um, such that I was very young. I was 26 years old when I was appointed politics editor for News 24. But I'd obviously been working as a journalist from the time I was, you know, before I was 18 years old. I covered lots of big stories um, in this country, big political events, um, dabbled in investigative journalism and political reporting. And again, like I said, I worked across mediums in digital, in broadcast, in print, um, and then making my way to lead the politics team here at News24. My interest in journalism came from a very young age. I used to read the newspaper. Um, I, was, I was obsessed with politics from a very young age and that's all I ever wanted to be. I would, you know, hold a hairbrush and, and pretend that I was reporting live from war zones, which were actually, you know, my mother's bedroom. But, um, you know, I started straight after school. I didn't really go the formal training route. I studied concurrently while I worked in a newsroom and, and did all sorts of things in journalism. I started off, you know, uh, reading the news. I started off producing lifestyle shows. I wrote columns, some were bad, some were good, uh, and over the years worked in television, worked in radio, worked in print, um, and, 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 and trying my hand at, at various things. And, and through all of that, it, obviously political journalism has been uh, my, my absolute love and passion. And it's something that I've always wanted to do. And it's what I continue. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to continue doing that every day. Something that really sparks my interest. Something that really sparks a lot of joy in me. A significant moment in my career is an awareness that I was able to build over the years around mental health and journalism. And that's something that I'm very, very passionate about in whatever field that we do, whether it's political journalism, whether it is investigative journalism, whether it is legal journalism. At the end of the day, the mental health of journalists is a media freedom issue. And if we allow harassment to ensue, if we allow journalists to face um, you know, social media harassment, targeted harassment through social media, um, you know, it, it, it definitely uh, goes against all principles of media freedom. I was a victim of online harassment um, for the stories that I've done, where politicians and people in power try to intimidate me and silently using social media by targeting uh, me and targeting my person. And it was only when I decided not to to let that affect me, but also to to use that occasion to create an awareness of how serious this is, of how uh, we live in a world now where you are targeted personally for the stories that you do. I have been very, very passionate about the topic of mental health and journalism. It is something that is very close to my heart and I really want to make a difference in that regard. And I felt like the best way to do it is to myself go and research the phenomenon um, and that's why I registered at Wits University to uh, complete a master's in journalism. I'm, I'm almost at the tail end of my master's. Um, and, and the idea is to research the impact of mental health and journalism um, within a particular scope. You know, sometimes there's this disconnect between academia and, and industry. And I think that it is important for us to bridge that gap to say, okay, my years of experience in journalism, what can that help me in academia? And then using my years in academia, studying my masters, to then assist me in the work that I do as a practicing journalist. A big part of my career has been holding people accountable. But at the same time, there is this concession that it comes with a big human price of harassment, of, of cyber misogyny. And, and that's why it's been important for me in my career to create that awareness, to create that, that conversation around the importance of mental health. The work that we do is empowered by the Constitution. And so we have this foremost responsibility to keep that at the top of our mind and realize that obviously it comes with some price, it comes with a consequence. But again, it's having that, that, that sort of parallel realization that you are human at the end of the day so protect yourself from what from the from what you see protect yourself from 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 the online harassment and also um, at the same time 
uh, you know, don't feed the trolls. My journey as a journalist has been difficult at times, particularly because I've been profiled as, you know, whether it was the fact that I wear hijab as a Muslim woman, and the fact of being a woman in political journalism has been, uh, you know, difficult. But more importantly, I think what has been a, a very big challenge for me is this ageism that comes where, you know, you're too young to be in this particular field, you're too young to be in this particular role. And I think that um, I had to then work, you know, twice as hard to prove that, that first of all, I am deserving to, to do this and then also to do it to the best of my ability and do it well. Um, and I think that, you know, as women in journalism, we should not be defined by um, the barriers that people uh, put up for us. We should not be defined by what others think your role should be. There is no such thing that certain roles and responsibilities are predetermined or, or held for men. And I think that in South Africa, we have a great opportunity and at News24 to break the glass ceiling. It doesn't matter that, you know, 20 something year old woman in hijab um, can be a political editor or could be an assistant editor. And that's something I'm eternally grateful for. But at the same time, I believe that it is so important for us to continue breaking glass ceilings uh, in journalism, but also in South Africa. I think what I would like to be remembered for in journalism is empathy. And I think that empathy goes a very long way um, because at the end of the day we are all humans and a lot of our job is just interacting with humans and if you have empathy not only to colleagues but also to sources but also to newsmakers it goes such a long way um, and, and for me um, it is not about being the loudest it's not about being you know the, the most you know assertive for me it's I feel like my superpower is understanding humans and realizing that why people do what they do and getting to the sort of humanness of the sources that we speak to and of the people that we profile. Our job as journalists is to hold those in power accountable and that's what we need to do. My name is Conita Hunter. I am the assistant editor at News24 for politics and opinions.